Have you ever been in the situation where uh, you were kind of worried about getting in and out of the shower, um, but weren't quite sure what to do about it? Well, here's your solution. I installed a 36 inch ADA compliant um, bar that is stud mounted in our shower. Um, and uh, it supports up to 550 pounds. So I think, I think we're good to go there. Um, or as I told my girlfriend, I can gain another 300 pounds now and, uh, um, be safe. But, uh, she, 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 uh, disagreed with, with that philosophy. Uh, but, um, yeah, today on the home tip show, we're going to take you through how to, uh, install one of these bars in your shower. It can also be installed, um, just outside your shower. If you happen to have a stud located in the right location. This is stud mounted, so it's it's uh, firmly there and uh, should should easily be able to uh, protect you uh, in the case of a fall. So that's what we're going to cover today on the Home Tip Show. Let's do it. this shower because it has a little handrail here that I can kind of hold on to. Um, unfortunately, I started to lose my footing and um, just with some of the dizzy dizziness that I have from the concussion, I ended up falling out of the shower and then striking my back on um, the toilet right here hit the right side of my back. I at least had the state of mind to not fall forward and hit my head, so I turned to right. I was able to do some sort of, you know, ballerina move and and turn around backwards and cover my head and then then my my body uh, hit hit the the porcelain toilet. Um, uh, it was very painful. Uh, 15 minutes of, you know, screaming and and nobody was home to help me except the dogs who were all then at that point hiding because, you know, dad was um, <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> screaming. Um, but I've, I've decided that I'd like to place a, a, uh, a bar, um, and I've got the bar right here. Um, so this is the bar. It's a 36 inch uh, ADA compliant bar. And honestly, it's, it's, it's a good thing to have these in your shower anyway, um, even in the house that we built in, in Illinois back, you know, in our, when I was in my thirties, um, we had one of these next to the jacuzzi for getting in and out. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to place it here on the outside where I'm a little bit more sure about where I can hit the stud, um, because you know, you have to go into a stud with, with, with these. You can't just mount it into drywall or put an anchor in it. It really needs to go into a stud. Or I would prefer to mount it in here, about in this location or somewhere, somewhere in this location right here so that it's, that it's more hidden when the shower is closed. Now, the problem I have is that if I drill into this fiberglass plastic that holds there forever. It's kind of hard to fix. And so I've been trying to use um, my, excuse me, a little slowly, I've been trying to use my Stanley stud finder to figure out exactly where that stud comes down the wall. And I, I think I've got it there's one side of it, and there's the other side of it. And when I turn it upside down and I do it again, I get pretty much the same. There's one side of it, there's the other side of it. So I think it's right there. I think this is the stud. You know what I'm, I'm probably going to do here is one more, one more check. I'm going to do it just up a little bit higher. See if I hit the same spots with this. Try not to fall.
Well, that's discouraging. We move there. There we go. That one there. Tiny little mark there. Those all kind of seem to be in about the same place. And this one isn't a little wider. I'm not sure what's going on there. I think I'm, I'm in the ballpark right here. Um, the next logical thing to do would be to drive a, a tiny little pin nail right in the middle of that and try to find um, like some sort of trim nail somewhere. Um, so we'll be right back and we're gonna we're gonna use a uh, uh, hammer and, and, a, and a trim nail and see if we can hit if we hit that stuff actually I'm not going to use a trim nail I found these um, picture hangers that um, are very they're sharp on one end you can just push it right through the drywall and we're gonna see if we can we're gonna be in the middle of that stud by pushing right into the between the Were or there on that one. Okay. So that gives me some confidence that if I was to run a level down that wall, which I have right here, I was to move a level down that. I think I might just stick this back in there. It's a good idea. Sud should technically go down all the way behind, but you just never know what the plumber did. The plumbers. Plumbers. I love them, but I hate them. So that seems to be about the right height. to do is get a straight line from where we know that stud is all the way down this level. Go there. About nine and a quarter there. Down here, we're at about nine and a quarter. 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 Well, that's pretty good. So, if we want this, put it inside.
that means we'll put our drill in right there like this. This should be interesting. what it is at this point. So what we'll do is put this on now. Like it did hit it, like it did hit us that I just can't tell. You just reel away and maybe put them in at an angle and Thank you. 
three for each. Comes with a total of six screws, but strangely, it comes with a total of six, 12 holes. I haven't figured that part out yet. is where it is. So there you go, that's uh, how to install an ADA compliant um, um, safety bar in your bathroom. You just wanna make sure, you know, test, make sure you're hitting the studs um, because those studs should run all the way down unless the plumber got creative and cut stuff, whatever he was putting in plumbing, which happens all the time. Um, a better solution would be to put it out here if you can find a stud. However, I couldn't find a stud in this area, um, which would mean that I had to go out a little bit farther, which would mean I had to move this rack. Um, I could have put it potentially over here, but that's really not convenient. Um, this is a, the perfect spot for it. Um, and I'm, I'm real, real happy with it. It's, it's on there nice and solid. Um, it's into the wood and you know you can get in and out of the shower now and you know, if you're injured like I am and not have to, to worry about but I think it looks good um, uh, let's kind of do a, do a quick uh, pull back and walk around of it pardon the, the tools and the mess but um, there it is, right next to the uh, the shower controls. Um, it matches pretty well, and um, uh, I think that uh, it's going to be just perfect, located where it is, and provide for a much safer shower shower solution. So, if you enjoyed today's show, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Home Tip Show on YouTube, um, or if you would like to um, donate some money, you can go to www.patreon.com forward slash The Home Tip Show, all one word. Thanks a lot for your time, and play safe out there. Bye.